Hi, so because I'm really good at making videos, I totally forgot to put an introductory section into this because I thought, well, my front camera's broken, so maybe I should get that repaired before I filmed the video. And then I filmed the video. So I've currently got a cold, so naturally it's the best time to do this as well. But basically, I had an assignment where we had to do something creative, aside from writing that we've never done before. So I decided, hey, why don't I make a song despite having none of the experience or software necessary to do so? So I made a song. Here's how it went. Yo, that was really good. Maybe you should give up. Basically, I downloaded this MIDI thing on my computer and just started making the first beats that came into my head, which is a lie. I had these ideas in my head for way longer than I should have to not actually act on them. But eventually I had something approximating the beginning of a song, so I decided to give up there. Just kidding, I wasn't finished inflicting pain on this world. Now, in case you couldn't tell because the notes are MIDI and also terrible, this was intended to be a metal song. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that pans out. Now, I think the fact that this took me about a day to make shows just how much of a novice I am at making music from scratch. And placing each note individually was not fun, but eventually became somewhat tolerable. You can definitely notice where I struggle with the placements of the notes, but once this gets moved onto the new website and converted into actual instruments, it does start to sound quite decent. Considering it only took um, seven, eight, nine hours to finish the track, I'm more proud of it than I thought I would be. And I haven't even added to the vocals yet. Originally, I thought I would uh, sing and rap and scream over it, but I'm thinking now because it's got a sort of black metal vibe, that it only really suits uh, screaming. Here's how the notes look on the new website after I've decided to add a few things to it. Uh, not bad so far. I told you that bit would sound better eventually. But yeah, I converted it into a sort of choral section and I did start adding drum tracks, but the drums are absolutely terrible. Though I promise once I start changing things up, and altering the mixing, they will eventually start to sound, if not good, at least a bit more like the black metal I'm trying to achieve. And the section you're listening to right now with the low notes contrasted by the high is the bit that I was really proud of and decided, hey, this should be the next two minutes of the song. So it just is. This note sheet is really starting to look like a mess now, so why don't we make it worse by adding some vocals? I haven't actually got any lyrics yet. <laughs> See if that does anything. Uh, probably nothing good. It's already overlapped on one of the things I recorded previously. What I need to do is I need to retake all of these with all the background noise out. So like, I suppose put my headphones in so that it doesn't pick up on the microphone. This is child's play, but I don't know any of it. So yeah. Okay, so I changed some thing arounds and added some reverb to the point where it almost resembles music. If I could slow this scream down, make it last a bit longer, then that would be nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do that. Equalizer, delay, preamp. I'm not sure what that means. What happens if I turn it all the way down? This means you can't fucking hear it. <laughs> Which, uh, for my intentions, is probably best. I want a good song, and the best way to achieve that is by not having my voice in it. Need some water. Ugh, spelt it. Sure. It's almost music. Okay, um, I think what I need to do 
is add a second layer of vocals because that way I can fade out these shit ones and I replace them with better ones. I'm not going to blame the mic, but I don't know, it's all a mess. But yeah, when I started the song yesterday, it was just this. Now there's, um, there's this too. So it's like the song has like twice as much to it now. Yeah, so far there's only six lines to the entire song and the rest are just like vocal fills like <laughs> Turns out black metal songs actually need to be long if you want to have any vocals in them. I remember an austere song, which this is pretty much based off of, called Towards the Great Unknown. It's 11 and a half minutes and there are only four lines. And since my song's only four minutes, six lines, like just about cuts it because I've got vocal fills. Very basic. It's just, I'm so fed up with this and everyone. I've had enough. Just let me leave this earth. Tortured since birth. Just want to watch it burn. Please end this hurt. When will it be my turn? I mean, pfft. Eminem has been real quiet since this dropped. No one's going to be looking at the lyrics. It's not a rap song where actual care and thought goes into the lyrics. I've done poetry. I know this isn't good. But it doesn't have to be because the lyrics aren't the focus, you know? I'm injecting all of this copium straight into my veins. So mainly the lyrics are just for rhythm and uh, rhyming, because the way the chorus goes is, I'm so fed up with their tone and everyone. From 2.29 to, yeah, for an entire minute, there's no vocals, which is fine, because the less of me there is in this song, the better it'll be. But also it doesn't need it, because the instruments, I think, speak for themselves. I hold this for the whole thing. I might retake that three. I don't think it's high enough. It is... Oh fuck, I can't see because I don't have my glasses. I still can't see because my eyesight's terrible. It is 3.38 a.m. I started at 5 p.m. Uh, so it's been 10 hours. I got some feedback from a friend, somehow they were able to listen to this, and basically the main problems are it needed a bass line and the drums suck. I mean, he said that he liked the way I placed the drums, because obviously I have to like do every note myself, but it's just parts of the drum that are missing, like the cymbal and the bass and all that. I really wanted a cymbal, I couldn't find it on the thing, so that was frustrating. My piece isn't twice as long, but it's now twice as wide. It's not longer in length, but it's longer in the amount of bullshit that's in it. Oh my god, I'm wearing headphones. It's the only way I could hear, like, stuff, because I'm getting to the part of the mixing where I actually have to pay attention to how the song sounds. I've added more vocals. I'm not particularly happy with how they sound right now. I will I'll probably retake those ones. I feel like the first take was way better, but I couldn't use that one because I was using a microphone and no headphones. It was picking up the backing track from the computer itself into the microphone and just ruining everything. Mood. Although there is one bit that I'm very happy with. And it's a, just a tiny bit later on. It's actually the next instance of vocals. And in certain types of black metal, like depressive black metal, they um, do these like howls that are basically just, you scream at the top of your fucking lungs. And uh, I'm in uni, I'm in dorms, so I can't do that. So uh, this is genius on my part. I'm just, just saying that now. Instead of screaming into the mic, I whistled and it sounds like a scream. And no, when you hear it, you'll be like, yeah, no, that does sound like a scream. <laughs> Told you. The issue is my voice. It, it might be the mic. The mic is a very, very cheap mic. It came free with a keyboard. So yeah, it's not exactly, um, 
How much is an actual good mic? I'm gonna look this up now and be absolutely disgusted. Uh, yeah. Yeah, about what I expected. Uh, 150 with like the, with the ball, with the circle thing. I think that's called a condenser. I'm not sure. It might just be my screams in that take weren't good and I'm coping so hard that I need to spend 155 to remedy that. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the song's titled Melancholic Machinations or Suicidal Madman, because uh, that's what all black metal titles read like. Just that blare. I might turn the volume on the mic down. So it's at minus zero. That doesn't fucking make sense. Okay, so let's try minus two. Yeah, I think that's a lot better when you can't hear me. Yeah, I should probably say. Shut the fuck up. I, I actually love that though, when you pause it, the echo continues. I think that's so cool. It sounds like the song's ending, no matter where you pause it. I'm such a loser. Anyway, um, I'm doing an essay on this, and I might do a separate YouTube video of it, if I can get it good enough. I'm not going to put it on the internet unless it's listenable. And right now, I don't mind giving it to a teacher, You're saying, yeah, grade this, I don't, I don't, but yeah, the song's image will just be some trees uh, in grey with like some gothic font band name title on it. Might do a lyric video, but it means I have to take more pictures of more trees. After way too much brainstorming, I decided on the band name This Wretched Anguish because I feel like it's sufficiently cheerful enough for this song. You won't be able to actually like hear any of the music, but you will be able to hear me doing my vocals and then I'll play them back because I'm such a nice guy. I'm gonna sit here and do the vocal. It's literally just a <clears throat> Oh, it's barely audible. Yeah, you can't even hear it. Oh my gosh. I am going to commit sudoku or seppuku or sudoku, whatever comes first. I just, your mother, her, no. <clears throat> <clears throat> One of those had to be music. Uh, let's see if any of them sound like music. My bets are on no. It just blew out the mic like I blew out your mother's back. Maybe the mic shittiness won't be as apparent when I have the vocals tuned to their thing. That second one's better, which is technically the third one. But nothing is real, so who cares? What does it matter? We're all gonna die one day, and this is what I'm doing. There we go, that's perfect. And then tune that to minus five. Can't fucking hear it! If I could individually change the audio for... Never mind, I'm really stupid. I can just make a new mic track and have a different audio level for that. Okay. I was hoping it wouldn't come to that. But you have forced my hand. I didn't have to scrap that one. I can keep that one and then just move it down. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. R.I.P. Steve Harwell. Oh, I got to add all the fucking effects. Uh, okay, so how do you like mic effects? And um, reverb. We just want all of it. All of the reverb. I don't know what pan is, so I'm not gonna mess with that. But today we have something to CP, I don't know, this is why you leave this shit to the people you pay. I don't have anyone to do that with, so... Okay, let's see how much I've butchered this. Yeah, where's the echo? How do I add the echo? All around the world there's an echo, as he takes a bow. I mean, all know, all the girls and the boys, they chase the noise. Through the highs and through the lows, they will follow the echo. I'm gonna look on the other mic settings and see what I'm missing. Oh, there's no reverb on it. Okay, if I add the reverb on that, how bad will it sound? Way too much reverb, holy shit. Let's try minus. 
before. I hope I've not irreparably ruined my vocals. I didn't know I could edit it while I was listening to it. That changes everything. That's not what I was actually looking at. I was looking at effects. I can go back to minus five because I'm not listening to it anymore. Oh, it's already at minus five. Uh, minus six then, fuck you. You don't deserve to be heard. So what am I missing? Is it delay? What's the vocal preamp? So the preamp is what makes it sound shitty. Okay, so I can use that information to make my other vocals sound less shitty. Oh, don't delete the fucking... That'll do for now. I'm very disappointed in how all of this has turned out. I guess that's just how the song sounded. Irreparably shit. So I'm just gonna give the final vocals of the ending breakdown section an overdub, because uh, they deserve it. Not because they've done anything good, but because they need something else to detract attention from them. It's blowing out the fucking mic. I can't do lows on these fuck. No, of course I haven't got any fucking water. You know what? This is this this looks like a job for the monster can. <laughs> That's on max volume and I can't hear it. <laughs> Not too bad now, but what about the bleh? Is that ruined? Absolutely fucking ruined. Okay, great, fine, I'll refilm that too. Not like I just spent 20 fucking- Okay then, time for the brie. Brie. See, this, kids, is a original Zero Sugar Monster. It tastes almost the same as the regular one, except it's a bit flatter, even though I just opened it. And you can tell they just replaced all the sugar with sweetener, so it just- it's the same, but tastes worse. I can already feel my heart palpitating. Monster's flavour is never consistent. So let's hear that all together now. Um, I think it's either it's the delay or it sounds like it's out of time. So I'll move it forward a bit and let's see if that does anything. There we are. The lower end is louder than the fucking... Okay, what about the raw? Bit. Now it's all too loud, okay, which is great because it means I can turn it down. Yeah, genius. Okay, so each thing has a fade effect, which is um, this sort of diagonal bit you see here. So as it reaches that bit, it'll start to grow quieter. Not bad. I mean, it is, it's fucking terrible, but you know, could be worse. I might actually bring the vocals down just a bit more because the vocals aren't supposed to really stand out at all. That works. I'm almost certain I'm not the first person to use a pig squeal in a black metal song and I'm definitely not the first person to whistle to imitate a howl scream, because otherwise, I don't want to be the pioneer of that. For the first uh, line of vocals, I didn't actually record anything new, 
I just repeated stuff and cut it up differently because it's a black metal song, who gives a fuck? Have you ever heard a black metal song have more than like a couple lines? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. And I was actually very lucky with the because I didn't want to get rid of it. But what I was able to do was I was able to cut out the last word of my four line stanza. And uh, that mean, meant I got to keep the high note of the same take for the later area where it's more suitable. <laughs> this is so cool! Actually, that needs a do-over. I'll keep a headphone out so I know how I sound, because when I put the headphones in, my vocals are completely bloody different. I fucking nailed that. I am very happy with that, holy shit. I did not expect to be happy with something I'd done. I mean, it doesn't matter how shit your mic is, tunnel throat vocals will always sound good and will always have a stupid name that is not congruent with how they're actually performed. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. That almost doesn't need any effects on it, it's so good. I'll add reverb because I am a merciful god. Those vocals can be on the left, because my others were on the right, I believe. Is that correct? Yep. Brilliant. I am so sexy. I just realised, because it's two takes, both in different sides, it will sound like two <laughs> screaming at you from <laughs> both sides. Love it. I'm gonna have a field day censoring that. How the fuck is it six o'clock? Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that for now. So, I filmed the last part on the 26th of September and it's the 5th of October now. It's currently 4.25 a.m. and I have a horrible, horrible cold, but I have, I would say so far, finished the song, at least for now. I'll probably go back on it when it needs finishing next semester, because apparently I can't get the deadlines for any of my assignments correct, but at least I've got a song out of it now. The quality of it is not for any of us to decide. It's it's all in God's hands. Uh, the biggest changes have basically been adding more layers, doing the mixing and the mastering, etc, etc. But also, the biggest change, I think, and it's the one I made yesterday, is I reduced the tempo from 120 to 112. I wasn't sure which tempo I'd be most comfortable at, I just felt 120 was too fast. So at first I brought it down to 100 and that was t way too slow, because I just felt like certain parts were a bit too fast paced for a black metal song. And also, it was only 4 minutes and 9 seconds, so now it's 4 minutes and 26 seconds, which isn't much longer, but you do hear the difference, and it is a lot nicer, in my opinion. I've mixed the drums so that they're quieter now, because in all of my other drafts, they were exceptionally overbearing, which is how I like them, but it's not how most songs do them, especially not black metal. They usually, you can't even notice the drums. <laughs> I reckon that's it for this video. I really enjoyed the process of making this song. It was difficult and stressful and I swore a lot, which means it must have been fun in retrospect or something. Nothing worked the way it was supposed to until I forced it to, which is not advice you should take forward into your life ever. Just don't listen to me. But thank you for listening to me for the last 25 minutes. If you liked this, like it, and if you subscribed, then you're awesome. So I say bye, the laptop says bye, Bumblebee says bye, and I shall see yo bitch in the next video. Bye bye